if your belt has been cut too short, what would happen is that your carriers won't be able to meet in the middle. The only way is for you to force it, to push it all the way in and then attach the mounting plate. But that won't be very, very good. You don't want to do that. If there is a gap and you have to really force it together, the belt is just simply too short and you're going to just increase the tension of the belt and the system wouldn't work. Another symptom to know that your belt is just cut too short is if your track is really stiff, it's really hard for you to pull. And when you try to do belt tension adjustment, when you've loosened the screw, you can't release the gearbox and pull it away to adjust the tension. It's already the tightest, but yet you still, the track is still really stiff. That is also another sign that your belt is just too short. So what happens when the belt is cut too short? You need to actually release a bit of tension in the belt. How you do that? Just remove the gearbox. And you can slide it all the way out. And what you can do is, to release the tension, is to remove the belt clip carefully. What you really want to do is to not to pull it out directly. Instead, just kind of at an angle, peel it. So at an angle, just peel it out. Like that. Yeah, try not to pull it directly out. Just almost like a peeling motion to peel the belt clip away from the clipping part and what you want to do is to release a bit of tension of the belt simply use two teeth so you can actually miss the last one out don't worry two teeth is more than enough it actually wouldn't slip out it actually wouldn't um, it would not reduce the strength of the belt clip at all so two teeth is actually more than enough. Put the belt clip back. Okay. And you see, two teeth is just more than enough. It's still very, very strong. Okay. And then you can join back the system. What you should notice now is that they should be now closer together. Now, if they, if they are very close to each other, they almost complete a loop, then you're good to go. If it's still too tight and you still feel like that you have to force them together, you can repeat exactly the same process with the other carrier. You can then release one more teeth of the belt and then it should, it should be the perfect tension. Remember, you shouldn't really have to feel like that you're really forcing everything together in the perfect tension. It should just line up just like that.